In local news, recently SUNY New Pop students Zach Horowitz was hired by social media app Yik Yak to promote their new anti-bullying campaign. The anonymous app has taken a new stance on anti-bullying to prevent potential cyberbullying on the app. Yik Yak does not want their site to fall in the same grouping as other sites that use anonymity. Ion Newpulse had a chance to speak with Horowitz on Yik Yak's new position and what his job entails. Hello, I'm Rosalba Correo. Today I'm talking to Zach Horowitz, a Sydney New Paltz student who was hired by Yik Yak to help stop anonymous bullying on the app. Last fall, Yik Yak was proposed the idea and is now starting to put the campaign into effect. Well, I mean, Yik Yak knows what their target market is. They know who's using apps, you know, who's up to date on new apps, who's using social media, and they know it's college students. They're not targeting high school age students because a big problem with sites that use anonymous messaging can be bullying and they know that it's more prone to bullying in high schools and middle schools than it is on college campuses. Most people don't know this, but Yik Yak has certain algorithms set up to um, delete any content that's put up that either has someone's name put in it, because that owns only on a bad road to, to more bullying, and any um, posts that have trigger words in it, like kill or like gun or words like that that are just not okay, those get deleted probably within 10 minutes. I've just seen people being more positive, more more helpful towards each other and it just makes me feel good because I really love this app and I love that people are using it in the right way. Here at the Atrium, I'm Rosalba Crayo.